Hopefully, um, they, guys, they hired that Marvel trainer. That Marvel trainer knows how to get folks in shape. Yeah, Chris Pratt said thank you very much to him, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, all right, so you guys uh, get to uh, do our 10th cast member. That's uh, Jack Rose. I think oh, this goodness. this is the oh, yeah. most fun role to have in this movie, I think. I think you could put – there's a lot of different people you could put in there because it's not you know, a main character – but it's it's somebody who really steals the scenes that they're in um, and gets to be quite quite fun. So we we had a few different names. Uh, mm. J.K. Simmons was somebody that I thought could bring quite a good sort of a reporter vibe to it. Um, we talked about Kyle Chandler as well because uh, obviously Coach Taylor. Um, we wanted to get another Friday Night Lights person in there, but <laughs> it was more because of his performance in like King Kong. I really like the way he plays this sort of slightly cowardly actor who's not quite what he appears you know uh, but that's not who we went for in the end was it James it was actually somebody we moved from another role wasn't it yeah we moved from Dr Mandrake um because this was my original suggestion for Dr Mandrake before we I think Dave must have suggested Steve Buscemi I was like yeah definitely love it um and we liked my previous choice quite a lot so we're like all oh, right we can move and we can we can salvage it so we went for James Spader and we were sort of thinking of like, you know, he's he's Robert California in the office. Yeah. Um, he's does like the blacklist. Um, you know, he's he's quite a you could see him being quite a good journalist, I think, because he's got that sort of he he's really good at being quiet in scenes, you know, like if you people are talking to him, he just has like this blank sort of um, you know, you can see the stuff going on below beneath the surface. So we thought he'd make a good journalist. I mean, that said, if you could bring John C. McGinley back to do it again, I think he'd do it. Just oh, like we it. love John C. McGinley in it. He's just great. Yeah, John C. McGinley is so good in everything. And obviously before this movie, he was in Platoon, uh, yeah. you know, obviously Office Space, uh, Wall Street. He's in, you know, he, he's in so many Oliver Stone films, so many. Yeah, so it makes sense you know, just to kind of get somebody like that. Um, and I like John C. McGinley from Scrubs. Obviously, Dr. Cox yeah, is my yeah. favorite TV doctor probably besides – oh, Dr. House too. <laughs> They're both kind of there. Um, <laughs> But no, I guess I'm a kind of I've been alley ooping to Jesse. But I'm gonna kind of take this one all the way to the hole, and I'll let him kind of follow up as a cheerleader. <laughs> because uh, basically, with this role here, obviously, I thought of you know it's got to be somebody who's annoying. That that's the biggest thing: annoying, smarmy, pretentious. I thought of Jim Rome in real life. You know, kind of like that kind of role, right? That and uh, as soon as I saw this person's name, I said, "This is who I want to go with." I'm glad that Jesse agreed when I sent him my list. He sent the same name back, and that was uh, Jay Moore. Or uh, as we know him, oh, obviously, yeah. Sugar Bob from uh, Jerry Maguire. Uh, he's got his own podcast yeah. as well, big podcaster. Um, but yeah, he's fantastic. I think Jay Moore plays that kind of just smarmy guy. And I think he'd be a great Jack Rose type character that I could picture. Um, you know, uh, our uh, coach pushing him in the face or you know, whatever. <laughs> um, but I'm curious, Jesse, when you sent back Jay Moore, what was your trans thought? Uh, it, honestly, it, it was uh, from Jerry Maguire. I mean, I just remember that character as well. When you see someone's face, I think you remember a certain character they played. And that's the character that I remember him playing. And it was just like, oh, man, I could remember the annoying feeling I had watching this dude. And I'm like, that's <laughs> a guy I could remember. I, I could picture, you know, Cranston just pushing this guy's face into the dugout. Uh, <laughs> or, in, or in, you know, in, in the, you know, so, some place of danger where he's going to have to end up paying for it. So... Um, once I saw the name, I knew that was the one I wanted to pick. I'm glad that you agree- agreed immediately. I mean, um, you know, your list was uh, a godsend because we were able to kind of just pick right off it and cherry pick. But I'm glad we agreed a lot so much. We usually don't agree this much. Um, but um, you guys brought up J.K. Simmons, and I just wanted to kind of sneak in there. That's somebody that I had actually pitched for uh, the coach at first. That was one of my first picks there. So oh, yeah. I thought maybe yeah. he could have worked in that role. But um, you know, ultimately, uh, we felt Cranston, you know, was right for that role. Yeah, I, I really like Jay Moore. I haven't seen him in anything for a long time. Like, um, I think of him mostly from the film Go from like the late 90s as a Doug Lyman film. Um, and he's, yeah, he's the same sort of character in that. Just like, you know, just like an <laughs> annoying, like irritation. So, uh, yeah, I think he would be he would be a really good choice. I just I wondered what has happened to his career since then, really. But uh, maybe he's been in stuff and I've just missed him. It does happen. Well, I know he's a stand-up comedian, so he's out on the road. He does a lot of celebrity impressions. So, Oh, right. Um, but yeah, actually, J.K. Simmons, I, I will say that um, I always say, probably at least once a week, I say to my daughter, at some point, the line from Spider-Man, I go, crap, crap, mega crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's um, brilliant. 